It is incredible the transformation that has happened to a country where for hundreds of years nothing happened. I mean, it shows you the power of a system. An investment that you love is China. You just got back from China a few days ago, and you said it blows your mind away, right. the way that Eastern China Eastern has China. transformed itself. Tell me about that. Well, where 30 years ago you saw not much villages, maybe large, extremely large villages, but you saw bicycles, and you now see hundreds of buildings. You see the cranes operating. You see, I mean, it is incredible the transformation that has happened to a country where for hundreds of years nothing happened. I mean, it shows you the power of a system. The Chinese people aren't smarter than they were 50 years ago. They're not working harder. They used to, I mean, stoop labor and, you know, and patties and all that. The, the system now is unleashing their potential. And just like our system has unleashed our potential in this country. I mean, for millennia, people went nowhere in the world. I mean, your, your great, 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 great grandchild was going to live the same as you did for many, many centuries. Our country in the last couple hundred years has just unleashed human potential like n nothing we've ever seen. The same thing is now happening in China. Do you have as much faith, Warren, in the Chinese system as you do in the American si system? Well, I don't know the Chinese system. I, I got, I, you know, I'm a hometown guy, so I, I love the American system. I, it has all kinds of faults with it and everything else. But basically, you know, we do, we don't, we don't achieve it, but we believe in equality of opportunity, and we believe in a rule of law, and we believe in a market system. We, 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 we believe in gender equality and all that. Like I say, it's never perfect. Uh, but we're, we're, we're moving, in, we're always moving in the right direction over time. We, we have the right goals in this country, and, and it's proven itself. I don't know as much about the Chinese economy. I will say this, what I saw over there was government, management, and labor all with a common goal and with a zeal and a passion for achieving that goal. And when you get those three forces operating together, and you get people that are hungry to do things, a lot's going to get done. I mean, it's just, it is astounding what's happening. Fascinating. Watch out. Look, look what's ahead. Well, but China. it's not a zero-sum game. It's not, that's not very... Not watch out in that way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, watch, watch, watch the movie. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting. <laughs> look, looking at what the administration and Treasury Secretary Geithner have had to say about China's currency uh, policy, it has gotten a lot more aggressive in terms of the language used towards China. What's your take on, on how China should act? They have said that they will float their currency. There's a difference between words and actions. Yeah. Well, I, it's very difficult to get into discussions about currency because our currency is fluctuating against 200 currencies around mm -hmm. the world. And we're running, we're running trade deficits of a significant nature with Canada, whose currency is, has strengthened, you know, or, or Mexico or Germany and all that sort of thing. I, I will... I'll let the two governments sort that out. I will say this, though. I think it's a mistake for China to think they can push the United States around or for the United States to think they can push China around. You have two superpowers developing in every sense. And uh, over time, we're going to work, you know, we're, we're work out things. I mean, it, it, it's the nature. Both sides will realize that despite tensions, despite disagreements, that we have a common interest in a world that's prosperous for both of us and, and a world that's peaceful for both of us. And, but there'll be lots of tensions with the Chinese over time. The American people, they're unhappy now. They're sour to some degree. I don't blame them. I mean, they either have or know people that have lost their job. They either have or know people that have lost their home. I mean, they, they and, and it isn't their fault. I mean, they, it is not that they've done anything terrible. So they're sour and, and they, they got three places to blame government, Wall Street, and China. 